Hey everyone and welcome to my weekly reading vlog. This is Minx Laura 123 and uh, yeah I've been doing these videos quite a lot recently. I love doing them and I hope you enjoy watching them. So basically everything bookish goes in these videos. I tell you what I'm reading, give you a little kind of mini review of the books that I'm reading, if I liked them, didn't like them etc. If I get any new books, uh, that kind of thing. So yeah hope you enjoy watching and if you're a bookworm like me uh, let me know what is your favourite book book of all time in the comments section I want to know what is your favorite book of all time mine is the night circus by Erin Morgenstern I always say the same answer but it, it always will be I love that book so much but I really want to know what your favorite book is so uh, let me know in the comments section um so basically I film a little bit every day and uh, just edit everything together and it becomes one kind of big video at the end of the week so um today's Monday and uh, the book I'm starting this weekly reading vlog off with is Harrow Lake by Kat Ellis. So um, I literally got this last week and I literally started reading it the day I got it because I was mega excited to get this. Um, I'd seen quite a few people on Instagram like sharing pictures of this book ages ago um, and it's only just come out in England and I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it. So this is a young adult horror thriller book and it's just I'm really enjoying it it's, it's just really cool um so as you can see on the cover there's this creepy little puppet man here <laughs> so I'm very really quickly going to read the back to you um sorry if I don't sound very good reading I've got really horrible ulcer under my tongue and it hurts when I talk so um, I'm a bit like there, there, there while I'm talking <laughs> just in case you're listening thinking why does she sound different it's because I've got an ulcer anyway so Lola knows all about Harrow Lake. Her famous father directed Nightjar, the cult horror movie that was filmed there. She knows about the caves beneath the fairground, the sunken graveyard, the tree in the woods that's hung with teeth. But she doesn't know about the dark past, the town hides, or the secrets it holds about her family. Now she finds herself in Harrow Lake and as she searches for answers, some sorry, as she searches for answers, someone or something is stalking her every move. In Harrow Lake, the truth can be the death of you. So yeah, it's, it's really good. As you can see, I've nearly finished it now. I'll be finished this by, um, well, probably in about 10 minutes. I reckon it'll take me to finish that. Um, so yeah, that is my current read. But my next read is this one. Here it is. Uh, this is The Vanishing Half, and it's by Brit Bennett. This is um, a signed copy of the book. It's a hardback book. I like reading hardback books because the font's normally a bit bigger for me. Um, here we go. There's the signature of the author. So, uh, yeah, this is... Well, I'll tell you more about it when I start reading it, but this is the next book that I'm going to start. So this is The Vanishing Half. And uh, this has been on, like, the front cover of Waterstone's website for the last couple of weeks in their books they kind of recommend. So hopefully, you know, it's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, this is my next one. This is my current one. <laughs> um, I have ordered a couple of books, which are due at the end of the week, hopefully, or maybe the beginning of next week. Um, but I'll show you them, obviously, if they turn up. You can see my book post. But yeah, please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me what you're reading as well. So in the comment section, I want to know um, what is your favourite book of all time and what you're currently reading. There we go. I love reading your comments, by the way. Um, I know these book-related videos don't get like loads and loads of views, but I know people enjoy them and uh, you know my fellow bookworms out there enjoy them. So uh, anyone rambling <laughs> as ever. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and give you a bit of an update on... Uh, how I'm getting on with this one. Well, I'll be finished this one, but how I'm getting on with The Vanishing Half. Hi, everybody. So today's Tuesday. Here is a little quick reading update for you. So I'm currently reading The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. So it's okay. Like, it's really well wrote and stuff. Um, but it's not really got me kind of, oh, I wonder what happens next. Can't wait to, you know, pick up my book and have a little read kind of vibe, you know. But at the same time, I am enjoying it because it is well wrote. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm only a little way in. As you can see, I haven't really read that much of it, uh, which is also a, a sign that I'm not like you know, wow, this is amazing, but it's only the beginning, and I just want to see uh, how it develops, it is interesting, like, I'm liking getting to know, like, the backstory and stuff, so um, maybe tomorrow I'd have got sort of through a bit more of the book, and I can have a better kind of feeling for it, but um, as I say, it's really well wrote, it's really, it's really good, 
but it's just not, I don't know, it's just not gripping me yet, but there we go. It might change, all change tomorrow, possibly, the more I delve into it. Um, had good news today, got my email from the Royal Mail to say that uh, the books that I ordered from Waterstones should be delivered tomorrow, hopefully, but there you go. With all the posts at the moment, it might be, um, I don't know, Saturday maybe, I don't know, but hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll get my, my books I ordered. Uh, so obviously I'll show you those. Uh, I've just got my uh, my quiz ready here. <laughs> Basically, um, every other day, me and my dad and Nathan have like a little phone quiz. So we talk to each other on the phone. We started doing this like beginning of lockdown where we just do like a few questions for each other and then it become like a proper like quiz. Um, so we basically ask each other 10 questions plus a couple of bonus questions. And uh, yeah, we just have a little fun little quiz. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do the quiz with my dad soon. Um, trying to think. One of the questions I really was shocked about uh, is which Beatles song was banned by the BBC for its lyrics? Now, I did have no clue about this, and it is actually fact. I am the walrus. So I didn't know that, and I'm going to actually go because I'm a bit of a geek. I'm going to go and look on Google and find out what are the lyrics to I am the walrus. Like, why was it so bad that the BBC banned it? Hmm, you have to find out. But yeah, I like doing that, my dad. It's good fun. So yeah, I will I will do some more reading. I just need to kind of motivate myself to read, uh, which is really odd for me to say, but I think it's the thing with when it's a thriller, um, I'm more kind of like waking up thinking, oh, I've got to pick up my book, I've got to read. And do you know what I mean? But with these types of books, I do enjoy reading them and they're nice and interesting and thought provoking, but there's not much pulling me into it. But as I say, all could change the more I get into it. So uh, I'll update you tomorrow. Wish me luck with the quiz. I hope I hope uh, me and Nathan win. <laughs> hey everybody, so today is Wednesday and here's a quick little reading update for you. So as you know, I'm currently reading The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett and I have to say I've completely changed my mind about this book so uh, yesterday I was a bit like mm, it's okay you know it's not really gripping me but the more I read of it the more I got into it and I'm I'm actually really enjoying it now like super super enjoying it I'm currently on page let's have a look 83 there you go so I've done quite well with it and yeah it's really good um the missing sisters is uh cool I love like finding out about what happened to them both well finding out about one so far and I definitely know what happened to Desiree that's one of them but I'm waiting to find out what happened to Stella that's the other sister um, but also what I like about the story is that it's kind of going um in the past and then in the future, then the past, future. So it's kind of like finding out the backstory a bit, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm super enjoying it now. So um, I'll update you again tomorrow. And uh, hopefully my new books will turn up tomorrow um, so I can show you those. So uh, yeah. Hey everybody, so today is Thursday and here is a little reading update for you. So really, really enjoying The Vanishing Half and I'm currently on page, let's find the page, 183. So if I turn it this way around, you can see I am yeah, just about halfway now. There's my bookmark poking out. So yeah, honestly, it's so good. But I love it, and I finally um, found out what happened to the other sister, Stella. And it's, oh, it's a good one, honestly. I don't want to give any spoilers or anything, but it's really good. And also, I like the way that they're telling the story in, like, different eras and different generations. Um, I've now been introduced to the, one of the twins' daughters. So I'm getting to know her and her partner. So there's lots of all different characters who are all kind of uh, entwined and, and together. Uh, in some way so uh, yeah really good I, I'm really looking forward to finding out what happens at the end and stuff hopefully they'll all kind of reunite maybe they won't I don't know we'll have to find out but yeah really good book so I'm excited because I've got book post today so I've got two books turn up um, that I'd ordered from Waterstones so I've got Out of Love by Hazel Hayes which everyone is raving about I think this is going to be either a, a TV show um, or a film, I'm not sure, but I know it's going to be one of them because I read about it. So this is that, and this is Rotten, which is of course about Hillary Clinton, and it is by Curtis Sittenfeld. Now, the thing with Hillary, right, 
I've kind of gone mixed emotions throughout the years. I've kind of liked her, not liked her, liked her, not liked her, not liked her, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but recently, me and Nathan have been watching this uh, documentary on Sky Documentaries about Hillary Clinton and, you know, everything really from like really early age to when she met Bill, her career, being a feminist and uh, obviously running for president, which I wish she'd have got, but she didn't. Um, and just, yeah, I just, I don't know, I found like a new love for her and a new respect for her. And uh, there's something about, and I wish she'd have shown more of who she was, maybe, in the past. Because I think in the past, to me anyway, she'd come across quite cold and like, I don't know, just I couldn't relate to her. But once you watch this documentary, it's a four-part documentary. So if you've got um documentaries channel on Sky, check it out. And um, it's it's really good, the Hillary Clinton documentary. So this book here is a fiction, and this is a really young picture of Hillary. How young does she look here? Um, basically, it's a fiction, and it says, what if Hillary hadn't married Bill? So it's kind of like a re retelling, reimagining of her life and what would have happened if she wouldn't have got with Bill and how things would have been so different. Um, so, yeah, this, this is going to be my next book because I'm mega excited to read this. And uh, if I show you here, this is what it looks like under the dust jacket. It's white, and on the side, it's gold. Look, like white and gold, bottom. Really cool looking book. Sorry, my, my toes are hanging out <laughs> just there. Um, but yeah, it's a hardback book. Um, there's quite a lot of pages in, so I don't know how long it's going to take me. But um, yeah, this is going to be my next book. And now I want to show you the other book, which, as I say, is by Hazel Hayes, called Out of Love. Now, this is going to be a book, no doubt, that I'll probably need a big old box of tissues uh, to read. Because <laughs> it is about a couple who break up. Which you're probably thinking, why are you even reading about that, Laura? That's really depressing. But it's supposed to be like a real kind of bit of sweet romance. And um, yeah, it says here it's told in the reverse, beginning at the end of the... Re beginning at the end of a relationship. Each chapter takes us further back in time, weaving together an already un ravel tapestry from tragic breakup to magical first kiss i don't know i'd heard about this and i saw it on waterstone's website as well and i thought oh, this sounds really interesting and i think sometimes we need a bit of a kind of emotional story to make us cry and you know feel something um it says here as a young woman packs up her ex-boyfriend's belongings and prepares to see him one last time she wonders where it all went wrong and whether it was ever right to begin with burdened with a broken heart she asks herself the age-old question is love really worth it um it says here a novel for anyone who has loved and lost and lived to tell the tale um you know most of us have been through breakups and stuff and i, I don't know i just think this is kind of as I say, going to be one of those books that's really going to make me cry. And I think, I know it sounds odd, that oh, yeah, I can't wait to cry. But as in, I like reading books sometimes that just make you have that emotion and you think, oh, you know, like gut-wrenching feeling because the words are just touching you. I uh, really like in the cover as well of this one, of the hands like just slipping away. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get a big old box of tissues for this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, my next book, as I say, will be Rodham. No, that's the one I'm reading, wrong one. Ah! There it is, Rodham. This is going to be my next book. But obviously, I have got to finish the Brit Bennett book first. Um, oh, it's so good. Honestly, I really recommend this to anyone. It's very different than the books I'd normally sort of read, which I kind of like. I like kind of reading books that are out of my comfort zone kind of thing. So, yeah, really recommend this book. I think it's on Waterstones, one of their books of the month and stuff. So, obviously, it's a popular book. But, yeah, hopefully I'll get this done either tonight or tomorrow but um yeah okay hope everyone is doing good and um that's it for today i'll see you in a bit hey everybody so today's friday here is a little reading update for you so i finished reading the vanishing half and it was absolutely amazing i loved every single part of it i know at the beginning it was a bit of a slow burn, but trust me, once I got into it, got to know the characters and all the different like generations going back, forth, back, forth. I just loved it. Like it was seriously good. So I really recommend this book to anyone. Okay. It's really good. The Vanishing Half by Brit Bennett. Read it, read it, read it, read it. So that one is done. I give it a five out of five on Goodreads as well. So I do like to uh, rate my books once I've read them. And now I have uh, started Rodham by Curtis Sittenfeld. Um, so I actually thought Curtis was a man, but when I googled it, 
It's actually a lady. It's a lady called Curtis Sittenfield or Feld. Um, what if Hillary hadn't married Bill? So I started reading this and once again, like this one, I'm loving it. Actually, from this one, I've liked it from the like, literally the first page. That one, you know, I'll be honest, I did, you know, have to get used to it for a bit. But this one from the first page, I was like, I'm going to like this. <laughs> I could just tell. Um, so, yeah, really enjoying it. And uh, as you can see under here, it is uh, gold and white hardback book. The only negative thing is it's proper heavy. Like, it's a real heavy book. Um, I know it's a hardback, obviously, but it's really heavy. So let me read to you what this one is about. Awfully opinionated for a girl is what they call Hillary. She grows up in a Chicago suburb. Smart, diligent, and a bit plain. That's the general consensus. Then Hillary goes to college and her star rises. At Yale Law School, she continues to be a leader and catches the eye of driven, handsome and charismatic Bill. But when he asks her to marry him, Hillary gives him a firm no. Um, the rest, as they say, isn't history. How might things have turned out for them, for America, for the whole world itself, if Hillary Rodham had really turned out? down bill clinton it honestly it's fascinating and as i'm reading it i'm like i don't know i'm imagining bill and hillary when they were younger as i said i've been watching um actually i've still got one episode left of that the documentary about hillary on sky documentaries channel and once you get to know her a bit like i don't know i, I really like her I, I admit i wasn't a big fan of her before but after seeing the show I don't know, I kind of feel, like, as I said, um, a bit more respect for her and like, especially as a feminist, like she's proper sassy girl power, especially, you know, when she was younger and stuff. Um, and her and Bill, like, I know obviously there were issues in their marriage, but they're still together and they work things out. And I generally believe they, they have got like this love for each other and this mutual respect and stuff. So reading this is really weird because I am literally visualising them. And there have been a few scenes of, how can I word this? romance <laughs> yes yeah, a romance ooh la la um where it's, it's been a bit weird to read and kind of i'm trying not to think that's the only part where i don't imagine her and bill because that's just really weird i just think of it as two characters in a, in a book but um yeah it's really good really interesting and uh i think some of this stuff is true and some of it obviously is you know reimagining but some of the facts in here are true about her younger life and stuff and how she met bill etc um but obviously i haven't got to the stage yet where he asked her to marry him they're, they're really serious at the moment um so I haven't got to the stage where you asked her to marry him. So it's going to be like proper sad because at the moment they're just like a loved up, lovely couple. And obviously in this reimagining retelling, she says no. Um, so I'm quite fascinated to find out what the story is going to do um, once Bill's kind of out of the picture. Once obviously she said no and she goes it alone. What is she going to do? Obviously, well, I say obviously, I assume she's going to be involved with politics and stuff. Maybe she's not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to find out what happens after that, the next part of the book kind of thing. So really, really good. Um, so if you're a fan of Hillary Clinton or if you're not a flat fan of Hillary, I can't talk, sorry. If you're a fan of Hillary Clinton or if you're not a fan of Hillary Clinton, or even if you don't really care, you know, about her, this book is brilliant. Just think of it as characters. Don't think of it as, you know, whoever uh, the author's writing about kind of thing, you know. So, yeah, I'm really, really loving this one. Uh, my next book is, oh, I don't know, I've got so many books, so many books, and I don't know what one to read. A book turned up in the post today. Oh, I should show it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's this one here. It's called Kings of the Wild. The boys are back in town. Um, it says here, a relicking page turning edge of your seat road trip of a book. That's cool. It's by Nicholas Ames. And uh, this isn't my cup of tea normally, but I heard about this book on one of my favourite booktubers channels, uh, Melissa Barnes in Reads. Um, and she mentioned this book and she said it was really good and really funny. And I was like, do you know what? If she liked it, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, it's about the a group of mercenaries and they're a kind of... Uh, Hold on, let me read the back to you. It's probably easier than me kind of guessing. Um, Clay Cooper and his band were once the best of the best, the most feared and renowned crew of mercenaries this side of Hartwild. Their glory days long past, the mercies have grown apart and grown old, fat, drunk, or a com combination of the three. Then an ex-bandmate turns up at Clay's door with a plea for help, the kind of mission that only the very brave or the very stupid, would sign up for. It's time to get the band back together. 
I just think it's cool. It's a fantasy book, so I haven't read a fantasy so for a little while, have I? I can't remember, but I don't know. It might be this book next or it might be something else. But, yeah, this turned up in the post. I, I won it really cheap on eBay and it turned up pretty quick, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I fancy something a bit kind of fantasy and stuff, a bit different, but we'll see. I've got so many new books and old books and d d medium books <laughs> that I haven't read yet, so I don't know what's next. Uh, um, we will see. So that is all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. It's the weekend tomorrow, isn't it? I literally lose track on what day it is. Um, so, yeah, Saturday tomorrow, I've got to go out in the morning, get a few little bits and pieces from uh, the local shop, a bit of food and drink and stuff. Um, what else have I got to do? I can't remember. I should do some filming tomorrow, but I know that I probably won't end up doing it. <laughs> um, I'm really losing motivation with filming lately on both my channels, and I've got to kind of get into the... Uh, motivation mode I suppose um and yeah that's it all right I'll see you tomorrow hey everybody so today's Saturday is just going to be a quick little update for you just to say I am currently reading Rodham uh, by the uh, very good author Curtis Sittenfeld and uh, I have to say it is so good like seriously I can't give any spoilers away or anything but it's just so good. Like, I really recommend it to everybody. Like, whether you're a fan of Hillary Clinton, not a fan of Hillary, it doesn't matter. Just read it. It's really, really good. So well wrote. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. I'm um nearly halfway through. I'm getting there. Where am I? Where's my bookmark? There it is. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere. Yeah, I'm nearly halfway through, so um hopefully I'll do some reading um tonight maybe if not I plan this is my plan I plan Sunday morning to just get up and read in bed not go on Twitter not go on Instagram not go on anything just read in bed and that's what I plan to do hopefully I can get through uh, the book a bit more then um but yeah no really enjoying it it's, it's really good it feels like a soap opera like I can't explain it it feels like I'm watching a soap opera like Dallas or dynasty or something not to like. anyway but yeah no really loving this book hey everybody so today's sunday and it is also the very last day of my weekly reading vlog so i hope you've enjoyed watching and um maybe you've had some ideas for some books that i featured in this video that you'd like to read uh, also don't forget to tell me in the comment section down below what you are currently reading if you're enjoying it or not also tell me your favorite book of all time that's what i want to know because i'm nosy um but yeah so as you can see i'm still <laughs> reading rodham um and it's yeah it's a big old book so i think it's gonna take me another couple of days to get through it i'm loving it it's so good but yeah it's a big old book and I've had so many other bits and pieces to do today. So I've been doing my eBay work. It took me hours. Um, I have to take all the photos. Then I have to film a video of what I'm selling, which you can see in the week on this channel. Um, and then I have to obviously put all the stuff on. It's just like a big old thing. So that took me hours. Also ended up watching some Netflix, which, you know, didn't help because I should have read more. But I ended up watching Netflix, The Babysitter's Club. <laughs> baby serious club um and yeah i just i don't know what i've done what have i done today i don't even know but i'm definitely going to read more tonight i plan on having a little read i did wake up this morning as i said i would um and i stayed in bed and instead of getting up and doing bits and pieces i just stayed in bed and and uh didn't look at my phone didn't look at the social media i just sat and read for a while so that was really nice nathan was asleep next to me nice and quiet and I was just reading, so that was nice. Um, also, let me know in the comments section if you prefer reading in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. What do you prefer? I mean, I could read all day and night if I could, but <laughs> um, yeah, just nosy. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what the next book is going to be. I've just ordered a couple of books on Waterstones. I know I'm terrible. Um, one of them is called, oh, I can't remember now, The Whispers or The Whisper Man or something. No, it wasn't Whisper Man. Was it The Shadows? <laughs> I can't remember. It's a new thriller and it's literally just come out. And it's by an author called Alex North. I think I'm getting confused because he done The Whisper Man, maybe? I think this is called The Shadows. But anyway, that looks a really creepy, creepy, creepy thriller. So I'm going to... 
go and collect that when I go to town next. Um, and I also ordered another book, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> but you'll find out next week. If you watch my weekly reading vlog, you'll see the books I get. So just have to wait and see. But yeah, I don't know what book to read next. I don't know. I've got so many that I'm like, oh, I want to read that one. I want to read that one. Um, we just have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you want to support me, my channel, please press that join button. You can become a member of the 123 family here on the channel. You get special channel perks, uh, including shout outs and um, what else do you get? Early access to videos, special uh, messages on the community tabs different things so have a little look uh, just press that join button to find out more um also come and check me out on twitter at minxlaw123 and instagram minxlaw123 in the description box i'll put the link to my goodreads page as well if you want to come and follow me on goodreads be my bookworm goodreads friend that would be awesome and yeah one more thing check out minxlaw123 asmr my other youtube channel if you want videos to help you sleep, relax, chill, then check out my other channel. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you next week for another weekly reading vlog. <laughs> Did you like that little jingle? Was it a bit rubbish? Weekly reading vlog. <laughs> Nathan's giving me a weird look. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care. Bye, boy.